Oh, please tell me you are an angel sent from heaven to deliver me a bucket full of aspirin. Just the steaks. Oh. Headache? Hmm. Try three of the beggars. Drinking all afternoon. Fake snogging paddy in front of the whole village. Fake snogged paddy? <sighs> I was pickled. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of that going around. Oh, you mean the Lindsay Lohan wannabes? Welcome to headache number three. It's not even sorry. She posted her, her mate's streaking bum all over the internet and Aaron hasn't done squat about it. Honestly, he's got no idea how to deal with teenage lasses. Does anyone? Well, you can't tell me that your girls would have pulled a stunt like this. Polly pulled much worse. I am ranting, not thinking. Oh, it's fine, it's just bad timing. Hannah called, said she's not coming home for Christmas. I really hope she would this year. Mm. Yes, officer. Constable Stevens, is uh, Olivia Flaherty in your care? Um, well, well, my sons. We'd like to speak with them. They're inside, but. Oh, with them, please. Thanks. See you later. See you. Come here. Distributing indecent images of a child. She's still a kid herself. You filmed and shared footage of your young friend when she was vulnerable and drunk. Yeah, she told me to. But Liv's taken it down and she said she's sorry. Yeah, I am really sorry, but it was just a laugh and anyway, Gabby's it the won't one. happen again. If it does, I will have to proceed with charges. <laughs> what, you treat the same as some sick old perv, yeah? When the wrong people get hold of this sort of footage, they don't care who posted it. Which is why we have to. To stop it. What happens to Liv? For now, warning. For the indecent footage and the underage drinking. But if she's involved in anything like this again, then she could possibly serve time. And have a criminal record. Oh, I get it. Thanks. Good. Well, come on, I'll show you out. Okay. Thanks. I can't believe she told the police on me. <laughs> Gabby? No, she's been half cover towards most of the night, thanks to the booze you nicked. Well, it was one of her mums then, whoever told him. Look, she's embarrassed herself and she's trying to blame me. Aaron? Yeah. Knock it off, right? Start using this. Oh, don't worry, I won't be doing her any more favours. Are you dropping me for school or...? Yeah, go on. Is that it? She doesn't like to see how bad this is. She made a mistake. Yes, yeah, so did I. I should never have trusted her and given her the benefit of the doubt because she's just shoved it straight back in my face. Well, she said she's sorry. Barely? And only because she got caught. Aaron, she is running rings round us. Oh, right, so what are you saying, Mum? You want to get charged? No, I want you to wake up. I know what I'm doing. All right, just leave it. Sweetheart. Oh, no, it's just my friends texting me to feel better. Can I give you a lift to school? Um, no, I feel like I'm gonna vom again. Oh, okay. Well, you better spend the day with me then. You still on for your 12 o'clock, Brenda? It's a bit early for house calls from police, isn't it? Oh, good. They didn't waste any time. Excuse me. Hello. Hi. I'm Bernice. I raised the alarm about Liv's despicable exploitation of my daughter. Uh, Mum, what did you do? The only thing I could. Have you arrested her yet? We've issued a warning. Yes, and what's her punishment? The police warning is very serious. As your daughter should realise, we're giving her a warning too. What for? Underage drinking and public indecency. Uh